Hi guys, Ghost here, and today's game that we're gonna play is based on The Twilight Zone. If y'all remember what that show was, it was like a creepy, horror, like thriller, old-esque show, and it had like a bunch of different scenes, and all of them were like spooky, it was weird, but I loved that show. But this game is based off it, and it's called The Midnight Scenes, and the first one's called The Highway. I'm excited to play this one, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, let's uh, get into this. Love the music. Already love the music. Octavia Navarro. Do, do, do. A spooky movie. Like an old time movie. Clara Barnes, age 29. She's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. Do I hit next? Oh, okay. A flat tire delayed Clara's trip. Little she suspects how the little incident would change her life forever, as well as her perceptive of reality. Alright, alright. the right button. The nice episode. The highway. Generally intrigued. Oh, hey. What if this is like a point and click? Ooh, I want to step on that. An unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she knows the si signal pointing sigil pointing to the near emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. Oh, that doesn't look good. That's how you pause it. Oh. I zap myself. <laughs> I don't know what I thought that was going to do. Okay. I want to see what that is. Oh, it's that same boy with his face ripped out. Oh, look, he's happy on this one. I wonder what changed. Oh, damn. Got fucked up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Blood. Aw. Anything else I can click on? Hmm. That. Oh, hey. Oh. Bag. Box! A hammer. Double. Alright, break it. Oh. What's this? Is that a scarecrow? What is that? On a drawing? Creepy. Oh, hi, Mr. Scarecrow. You want this? No. Okay, what does that say on here? Got a diagram. Well, I don't understand this diagram. Oh, okay, so both arms pointing up. That's what it's like on the scarecrow. So we need to get you another arm. Is that your arm? Oh, it is your arm. Mr. Scarecrow, you lost your arm. Well, do I put it on to put this on it? Oh, hey. Now he's all happy. 
Oh. I don't think I want to go in there. Oh yeah, I definitely don't want to go in here. Oh, it is not gonna knock? Oh! Oh no. I'm Mr. Farmer Man. Oh, they had a baby. Is there anything else I can click on? The TV? Maybe? Hey, Farmer Joe going in his truck. Oh. There's a body in there. Oh, 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 oh. I guess that's none of our business. Close that door. Or I can't close the door. Well, that's fine. Oh, what is back here? Can't reach it. Oh, hey, I got the hammer. I can hammer this back in. Do I need a nail? Oh, yep. I found a nail. I wonder what that says. Bitch, I will fight you. <laughs> you know better than that. Um, what is that? Is that a lantern? Is there anything else up here? What was that? Is that a lantern? I'm gonna guess it's a lantern so I can see in that bathroom. Oh. Hi there, sir. Are you okay? You don't look okay. Oh, I got a key. He tried to bandage himself up. I'm guessing he was in the car. What's the key for? I didn't see anything that needed a key. Oh, oh, this. This was what I needed the key for. Point. Point. Am I clipping this thing? Oink. Oink. I don't think that's the safest way she could have done that. Oh, there was an. Oh! Oh! Oh no. They got fucked up. Are you okay? Okay, what the hell is going on here? Can I take anything? No. What about you, ma'am? I'm guessing someone escaped. Oh, is it the guy on the poster? Oh. I think that's that boy on the poster. I think she was selling Girl Scout cookies. Oh, it was a boy. My bad. Just a boy and his horse. 
Bloodborne 29. With great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Still terrified, she stopped in the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform about the disturbing events she had just witnessed. Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on the stretch of road, no signs of any crash or presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found a bit drunk, but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors Claire has witnessed that night. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy at all. And then she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Midnight Scenes, The Highway Uh, you definitely saw something, girl. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't expect that one to be so short, though. Sound effects by freesound.org Huh. I think we're gonna play the other one. Because that one was so good and short. So I'm guessing the other one's gonna be short. So we're gonna have a two for a two for in this one. Okay guys, we're back. And this is episode two called the goodbye note. It's not gonna be the same as the one before. It's a whole different scene. Like it Think of it as an episode. So I have no clue what this one's about. So I just want to get into it because I'm intrigued. The Eye. In tonight's episode of The Midnight Scenes, we follow Dr. Richard P. Griffin during the scariest journey of his life. For Dr. Griffin, things will never be the same again. Turn off the lights and relax. Midnight Scenes will begin after this quick word from our sponsor. Oh! Oh! For your indie devs, buy this game for a dollar. Oh, buy it for five or more and get the awesome Midnight Series Two PDF art book. You heard the alien lady. Buy it. I did. Your turn. It's like cool music. Midnight scenes. Richard, Madison, my love. I'm afraid there's not much time for me. If I'd known that our goodbye at the airport was our last, I would have told you everything. I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. Unfunded? Unfounded? No clue what that said. I was just gone a few days, Madison. A week at most, I promise. I just don't understand why this work meeting is so pressing. I mean, making you cross the country out of the blue with almost no notice? We were supposed to be visiting Dad at the lake this weekend. You know I wouldn't go if it wasn't important. The gas leak in the lab last night, it put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing. Should I be worried? No, it's just a small acid accident. Accident? No, that's not how you say Everything is under control. They just need me to do some paperwork, and you know how things are. I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? Oh, Hello, man. Good evening, sir. May I see your ticket, please? Yes, uh... Where did I put it? Richard, here. Thank you, man. I like how she's waving it. It fell from your pocket. My love, you've been distracted all day. Is there something worrying you? Everything's fine, my dear. I have to go now, or I'll be late. I love you. May I see your ticket, please? Yes. Here it is. Thank you, sir. Have a nice flight. Thank you. Nice episode. The goodbye note. Seat 1A. What is my seat? 2A. I don't think that's my seat. Oh, what is your seat? Oh, 5A. Okay.
four a five a there it is <clears throat> excuse me sir let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment no thank you i'll carry it with me i'm sorry sir the regulations it will stay with me thank you you said ain't my problem <laughs> Taking this plane was a mistake. Trapped myself. Trapped yourself from what? Ladies and gentlemen, we're entering a thunderstorm and may experience some turbulence. Please remain seated with your belts fastened. What's turbulent? That's a question. Your wine, sir. Is there gonna be a monkey on the plane? <clears throat> and lighting? Lightning make a plane explode, Mom. Just try to sleep, dear. Hey, excuse me? No, you can't make the plane explode, but you can make everyone disappear. What? No, no, no. No, leave me alone. What have you done to all these people? You never get the Elysian while I'm alive, you hear me? Never. The what? My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering the real reason I got on this plane. You knew I was hiding something. It all started last night in the lab. Sorry it's so late, honey. I had to review this long checklist before calling it a day, but I'm on my way right now. No, I don't think I'll go to Coleman's party now. I don't I don't even have a present for him. You know, nobody will miss me anyways. Go to bed. I'll be home soon. Hello? Who's there? What was that noise? It came from the control station. Computer. My auto in 200 computer, the 120,000 instructions per second. Can you imagine? No, I cannot. Anything over here? I don't think there is. Coleman's desk. What a mess. I look balloons. Pop, boop, pop. Ha, 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 ha. I can see. Main room. I shut up the mere thought of what we're keeping in there. You don't know what's in your own room? Hello? I put that on. Is there anything on this desk? Nope. Control room. Linda, you scared me to death. I thought you were at Coleman's party with everyone else. Oh, Richard, thank God you're still here. We might have a problem. I think the clean room might be compromised. Wait, what What happened? I was doing maintenance on the main console when I heard noises coming from the roof. Listen. Well, I don't like that. Did you hear it? We might have a small animal trapped in the vents. But that's impossible. The whole area is sealed. Is it though? Damn. Do you think it might be a rat? A bird? Anything from outside that sealed unit would be enough to contaminate the whole air system and ruin months of research. I better get to the clean room and make sure the Elysian is secured. Yes, good idea. We should be able to unlock the clean room doors from this console, but Coleman's the only one who knows how to d make this thing work. Let's take a look. Oh fuck. Please insert code. We need to use the correct combination of keys to enable the console. I know Coleman keeps a list of codes somewhere. I'll wait here while you find it. Please hurry up. Up, down, left, right. Let's go to his desk. It's the only place I could think, right?
I'm sure everyone's having a great time at his, the party. I'm pretty... I'm probably the only guy I know who'd rather spend the night working than attending any kind of social event. Probably. Or be bored. Welcome, Dr. Coleman. How can I help you? Zero files, games. Let's go to games. Yes. I don't want to play. Sorry, games have been disabled by your administration. Ah, uh, Whack. Error 2109E. Security clearance denied. Well, that was all useless. Go back. Um, drawer? Notebook? Hmm. Oh, okay. So what month is it right now? I need a calendar. Do I have a calendar anywhere? Friday, October. Friday, 19th, October. So. Can I not look at the notebook? What happened here? What happened? Why can I not look at it? Or it's 10. Month of ten. Wish I looked at it, or it would let me look at it. You got the codes? I do. Okay, so ten. Right down, up, left. Right down, up, left. Right. Down, up, left. Right. Down. God damn it. God damn. It. Right down up left. Right down up. Did it. Yeah. I'm the smarter calls. Done. Really impressive, Richard. Well, thank you. The, okay, the door's open. I'm going in. Ooh, he has to put on a whole suit. I know it's restricted access, but if you need any help hunting rats, I'm sure I can fit into those suits. I don't think they're regulations. Just kidding. I know you have a phobia when it comes to breaking rules. I'll be watching from the console control station. Oop. <sighs> okay, here we go. 14 Fahrenheit. I turn on the comm systems. Shout if you need anything. Hey, Linda, could you increase the temperature a bit? It's freezing in here. I'm on it. Much better. Thanks. I'm not hearing those noises anymore. Whatever it is, probably gone by now. Are you sure? I'm not saying anything that raises cause for concern, but just to be safe, I'll ask the maintenance team to replace the filters tomorrow. Better safe than sorry. Secure compartment. This is where we get the Elysian. Hi, Linda. Did you find any rats yet? Nope. Box. Better leave this alone. I want to want to break the refrigeration system. Time to go. Okay, I think we can officially declare this a, farce, a false alarm. Everything looks normal here. Linda, I'm done here. Can you open the door? I think you should check the Elysian to make sure it's in, in, intact. I really don't think it's necessary. Everything's fine. Besides, I'd rather not open the secure compartment if it's not absolutely crucial. You know how much that's increased me out. Richard, I'd do it for you, but you're the only person with fingerprint access. We both heard the noises. We don't want any surprises. <sighs> Fine. The Elysian, the reason behind all the secrecy surrounding my job at the lab, and many sleepless nights. It was found in Antarctica a month ago, and all our studies have been inconclusive so far. 
It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. I knew it couldn't hurt anyone if we kept it in the lab under strict control, but it's not safe anymore. His creators finally found it and they want it back. Everything okay in there? No signs of contamin contamination as far as I can see. Oh, stick it back in there. Excuse me? Uh oh. What's happening? Linda? Linda, can you hear me? Oh. Oh, shit. I don't like that. Who are you? Where's Linda? What have you done to her? What do you want? You came for this thing, right? What is it? What are you going to do with it? Uh oh. The temperature is dropping. The, the thing wants me to freeze to death. The suit would keep me warm for a few minutes, but I won't hold it for long. I got to do something quick. I was terrified and blinded by fear. That creature tricked us into opening the secured compartment to get the Elysian. With Linda most likely dead, I felt the fate of all humankind weighing on my shoulders. But in the end, I did the only thing I could, do, I could do, even if it was ultimately foolhardy and pointless. I found the strength somewhere inside to escape the lab with the Elysian and run. Take it, take it, take it, we gotta go. Screw a big one. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Do something. The sensor controls the refrigeration system. I need to find a way to disable it before I freeze it. Oh, uh, fucking hit that bitch. Attaching the cables didn't do anything. I need to find a way to break this short circuit with the refrigeration system. That. 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 What? What do you want me to unscrew here? No way I would freeze to death. Oh fuck. I don't like being panicky like this. Sir, I don't know what you want from me. I'm gonna die. Cause I don't know. This screw should be conductive, and it's long enough to connect the end of both cables. Oh, okay. Okay, thank God. I thought I was gonna die there? Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. What's this? Are you one of the ones making all the racket in here? You're not a rat after all. But why the hell were you thrown in the vents? Oh, something gonna. Damn. Get to the ladder, boy. Damn. Damn, drop, drop kick that open. I should take the suit off. I can barely move. But first, I need to find somewhere safe to put the Elysian. I'm not touch touching with my bare hands. Suitcases. Uh, lead coated suitcases are perfectly for carrying dangerous materials safely, at least for a few hours. Open Elysian. Time to go. What the hell happened here? This is Alinda's glasses. He tried to run away. That's what happened.
Because when she ran home, I spent the night in the ho motel. I didn't dare risk going back home and exposing you to this nightmare. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in the lab. That's why it would keep me busy all night. My superior in Washington told me to take a plane and bring the Elysian to our headquarters. He thought it would be safe there. But in the end, it was all for nothing. I was trapped inside this airplane and I had to find a way to avoid the Elysians falling into the creature's hand. Better crash that plane. Come on, you want the Elysian? Then come get it. You have to kill me like I, like you did Linda and all the passengers on this plane. Ooh, an umbrella. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with an umbrella, but something. Oh, damn it. I don't want to do that. Go back. What's this? Open. Extinguisher. You know what? The more items, the merrier. I didn't mean to click off the game. Uh, that was an important fucking thing. Suitcase. I can't allow the Legion to fall into that creature's hand. I need to find a way to get off this plane. What are we gonna do? Mary Poppins that? Just jump out? Door to the cockpit. Is somebody there? Hello? The radio. I can hear the radio. I need to get there and call for help. Locked. Oh, bitch, fucking. Better beat that shit open. Oh, here. I can do this. Can't reach it. Aha. Uh -huh. Big brain mode. <laughs> Oh my god, it's flying on its own? The creature must be controlling it somehow. Parachute. Thank you. Plane instruments. Oh, the radio. Hello, is anyone there? I need help. Hello. Damn, it's broken. Well, you tried. That's all that matters. Okay, I got a parachute now. Let's do this. Oh, I need the Elysian. I can't leave without it. Give it a check. Excuse me? What the hell just happened? Oh, do we somehow end up back in Antarctica? Ugh. Here, here's what you wanted. Just come and get it. Come on, you don't have to do... Do what you have to do. I don't care. I, I can't do this anymore. I guess this is how it ends. Madison, my love, I don't know how to explain all this in just few words. I'm afraid there's no much time left for me now. I thought I would be safe by now. Linda? Oh my god, your face. Oh! Oh, Linda! Oh no, Linda! My, my baby! You got messed up. Hello, Richard. <laughs> I'm such a fool. It was you from the beginning. Please, I beg you, just tell me what it is, what it is, that thing, I need to know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? It has been our eyes and ears here on Earth for more than a century now. When you locked it in that stupid sealed room, blocking its transmissions, now that it's working again, you have some really interesting neighbors very soon. No. Oh, here they come. No, please, Linda. Cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now.
Sprite. Sorry, what? Are you okay? It's the third time I asked if you want honey on your cereal. Is something wrong? It's fine, don't... In fact, I'm feeling great this morning. Quite energizing. Dear, I say. Happy. <clears throat> I think today would be a great day. Excuse me? So aliens took over, that's what happened. That's what happened there. I want more. I want more of these. That, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. I hope. What was it? Navarro was his name? I want more. I want more. Damn it. <laughs> The midnight scenes. Well, I enjoyed that a lot. I really enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll be playing a lot more games like this in the future. And hopefully you enjoyed this 2-4. You know, scene 1 and 2. Go play for yourself. It's really fun. It's really fun. And go support this uh, indie dev. Because I love, 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 love his artwork. But other than that, everyone... Have a great day, or night, or whatever it is for you, and goodbye.